Okay, I'm about to show you something that only an extremely few number of people on the entire earth have ever seen before. You're going to ask, well, what the hell does this have to do with photography? Well, a huge part of photography is about seeing things that have never been seen before, about photographing things a totally different way. Obviously, I'm making a bunch of gear videos. I'm going to show you something very fascinating. And if you don't think this is wonderful and beautiful, then you have a mental defect. Now, this picture's out of uh, focus here for a second. I'm going to talk about this cell a friend of mine created, invented, it's patented. And, uh, of course, I just have uh, electrical tape and a cardboard ring around this. What I'll have to you are two super flat, optically grade flat lenses that have been cemented together at the edges and the other side is to have a piece of regular paper that is black printed black on one side I could easily remove this you'll see the same thing it just gives it better contrast so this is just a sheet of paper what is ringed around here is just a hardware set of LEDs so there are bright white LEDs shooting into the center of these two lenses okay that are cemented together super simplex idea Hold on, I'm going to get to it. You're going to love seeing this in a second. You should be fascinated. When I show people this invention, and you can able to see it close up, you know, I see wonder on people's, the most jaded people on earth, I see wonder and amazement on their faces as if they were a little child. You're going to love this. Let me explain it first. Between these two lenses is a super thin smear, only a micron thin, basically, just a smear of oil, a special suspension of uh, nano uh, nanofluid. Okay, it's a ferrofluid. It's technically ferrofluid with another suspension, but it's basically only a micron thin between these two pieces of glass. And I just have this black mask here to keep the light from spilling over, but there's just bright white LEDs shooting in here. For the first time ever, you're going to be one of a very, 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 very small handful of people that is able to see magnetism as it really is. And you're thinking, oh yeah, well, we know what magnetism looks like. I just got done writing of course I'm still working on the book it's called Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism right now I've made like 140 videos and I've got like 60 more videos to make but uh, I discovered uh, the nature of magnetism and uh, the magnet um, kind of a, a genius, a prodigy when it comes to uh, field theory yeah believe it or not this tattooed guy that's been telling you about lenses and cussing is actually uh, a sort of uh, weirdo genius prodigy type and it's got a huge cult following but I started investigating magnetism and I found out this inventor they created this oddball device nobody's ever heard of he sent me a prototype all I had to do is finish building it obviously there's a more professional variety of this it hasn't gone into commercial production or anything because every school every college should have one of these but no one has one yet okay for the first time ever, you're going to be able to see magnetism. You say, well, I've seen magnetism under iron filings. Like, no, you've never seen magnetism. You're going to see magnetism with light. You're going to actually see what the field is around a magnet. And, of course, I made this discovery before finding out about this invention. Of course, magnetism technically in the magnet, which is coherent... Um, the dielectric field, as Faraday referred to it, based upon the writings of Faraday, Steinmetz, Oliver Heaviside, Nikola Tesla, and the rest, that the magnetism around the magnet is coherency of a reciprocating processional hyperboloid. And I discovered that before finding out about this ferro cell. This ferro cell, as I said, is divinely simple. When I turn this on, if you don't have amazement in your faces and aren't fascinated because no one's ever seen this before, National Geographic should have their shit all over Tim's invention, the person that invented this. And he's come up with another invention that's going to change the face of the entire world. It's a new type of communication device based upon light. A whole new type of light transmission that makes fiber optics look like Stone Age. Okay, brilliant inventor, all the respect in the world for him. But anyway, let me turn this on, let me show you this. Right over here I have a one inch neodymium iron boron ceramic. Okay, I'm going to put it underneath here. Remember, all this is is two glass elements with a nano particle smear of ferrofluid. It's only a micron thin, far, far thinner than a human hair. But what you're going to see, and you're never going to see it unless you actually see it in person, live, but you're going to get a hint of it here on the video that there is inches and inches of depth 
better than any holographic defect you've ever seen. And on top of that, you're going to be one of the first people on Earth to see what magnetism, really, 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 what magnetism looks like. And this invention by Tim is the first invention on Earth. I predicted this and I went looking for something like this and I found that this device existed. This is the first invention ever to actually show what magnetism is. So enough lip flapping on my part. Let me turn on the ferro cell, which is just turning on the lights. You don't actually turn anything on. You can see there's a light that turns on. That's just a ring of LEDs. Now I'm going to place the magnet underneath there. I'm going to turn off the lights so we can see things better. Remember, photography is about discovering new things about nature and things in our society, about discovering all sorts of neat stuff. So this has to do with photography. If you think it has loosely to do with photography, fine. Now this is one pole of the magnet. You see that spirograph-like pattern? That is the reciprocating processional hyperboloid Specifically, it's geomagnetic precession, and yet you have as a hyperboloid processing centrifugally and centripetally, divergently and convergently. Let me turn the magnet on the side so you see either pole on either side. And then let me bring it down here on the edge so you can see the extreme depth of field. Now, this is real time. This is not a projection or anything. These are just simple hardware LEDs shooting into this lens and these are just two lenses with a smear of oil between them with nanoparticles nano uh, 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 nano level magnetic particles ferrofluid technically a special ferrofluid suspension so you're seeing real time as I'm turning it with my hand this isn't a projection like a TV or something this is just hardware LEDs you can get at a hardware store shot into these two lenses with the smear of ferrofluid between them and what you are seeing for the first time on Earth, even though this invention has been around for a very little for a little while now, not a long time, but you're one of the first people on Earth to see magnetism as it really is. This is a real magnet. And this is the field. What is happening is the dielectric component of the field of magnetism is causing the light to disperse and concentrate in specific patterns such that you are able to see unlike all the bullshit stuff you've seen in the past now you see real photographs ask me for some links of some real high-class photographs of this and I'll send them to you and your mind will be blown especially when I use a ring magnet in the center of a ring magnet you'll see a perfect spirograph like pattern here in the center it kinda looks like a black hole and there's a reason for that I've got an entire now you think well I'm selling a book here I'm not selling a book my book is free it's got a huge cult following now I mean huge and I've got like 300 more pages to add to the book where I completely explain magnetism and what a magnet is and talk about the field instantaneous action at a distance dielectric discharge divergence convergence acceleration and acceleration and inertia and inertia versus uh, motion and force and talk about what is the magnetic hyperboloid processional reciprocating field that we call magnetism in the coherent field displacement uh, of the magnet here you see either pole on either side I'm just turning it by hand underneath this ferro cell I just wanted to show you this let me turn it on its edge the reason I might use the black mask you can kind of see the white light LEDs underneath that's why I use this black mask is to block off the excess light underneath this is just a piece of black paper if I were to cut out the black paper you'd see the exact same thing you're seeing now except with a little less contrast so it will perfectly completely clear through there except for slight brown tint from the ferrofluid you see the exact same thing you're seeing now this is not like a TV projection there's nothing involved here other than simple string of LED lights and the magnetism shooting through these, and these two lenses don't have a focal length they're flat 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 glass okay what is happening is the light is diverging through the ferrofluid and is causing concentrations and divergences of the light such that for the first time on earth you as a human being are able to see magnetism in its true beauty now you see this depth of field you were looking at something infinitely infinitely thinner than a human hair it's less uh, less than a micron thin but this extreme depth of field if you're able to see this in real time instead of through this camera 
you would have your mind blown. Better than the best holograph ever produced on this earth. And yet, it is only a micron thin. All I'm doing is just swiveling the ferro cell. Okay, I can move it like this. I'm just moving it with my finger underneath here. Let me do like this. I wish you could see this in close up and up up close and in person instead of just through the camera. You can see the depth of field here, but what you can't really see is the extreme depth of field when you actually have it in your hand. So this is relational photography and I got a bunch of pictures associated with this including some fascinating pictures of magnets uh, what you'd incorrectly call attraction and repulsion it will put various magnets in various uh, field repulsor positions or attractor positions underneath the spheral cell what the patterns that are produced and how that explains field divergence so I just had to show you this, even though we've been talking about lenses all this time. You're privy to, uh, privy as a, an extremely small handful of people on Earth that are able to, for the very first time, see magnetism. Really, really see magnetism. Not bullshit with iron filings, but actually see divergent centrifugal magnetism emitting from the magnets as it's being painted by the light under this divinely simplex simplicity is divinity this is divinely simplex invention of Tim's called the ferro cell and there's another invention that he has it is going to change the face of everything as far as communication it is so amazing that it makes the stuff on Star Trek look like Stone Age bullshit by comparison See, see, there's nothing special underneath here. This is just a piece of black paper. This is just to mask off the bright white light from the LEDs. This is just a simplex Home Depot hardware LED string set. The string set is wrapped around the ferro cell right here. There's no projection like a TV. There's nothing. The only electronics here is the power to power these LED lights. There's no projection. The only thing you're actually seeing is the real-time magnetism. You should be proud. If you're not fascinated by this, then you're a boring douche. Because this is amazing shit. If they showed me shit like this back... I mean, I was always a prodigy, and I was always smarter than the teacher, especially in science. And I was chess champion in high school and college, and I was that uh, nerdy loser that was uh, always hanging out in the library and uh, didn't think I was smarter than everybody else, but actually was. But therefore, I couldn't get along with anybody because everybody else was a fucking idiot. But, uh, you know, I wish they had stuff like, like this back then. Let me turn the light off again so you're able to see it. You're kind of able to see that extreme depth of field. Let me block off some of this light here. And you see that bright white line in the center? That's the dielectric inertial plane. And I'm not selling anything to you because my book is free. If you want to download the book off of archive.org, it's called Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. And, uh... I guess that's it. I just wanted to show you something really fascinating, and it is photography related, because photographing this is the first time in humanity, you know, once, uh, once Tim invented this, that uh, human beings were able to see and uh, photograph uh, magnetism. Very simplex. Very, very simplex. These, magne uh, these uh, lenses uh, have uh, no magnification, concave or convex. They're perfectly dead-ass optical grade flat. No difference than sheet glass except super precision. So, and it's just a smear, a smear, slight smear in between there. And that incredible holographic effect just out of that smear due to magnetism and light. Part of that is based off the Faraday effect because magnetism causes light divergence in the EM spectrum. Remember, too, being part of a photographer is being master of light, manipulating light. And this is kind of related, but I thought you would think this was really fascinating, and a lot of people would like to see it. And if you don't think that was fascinating, then there is something wrong with you. Thanks for watching. Let me know. Bye.